Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, and yes, I am back in New York. Uh, after the live stream last night, I crashed out for about four hours. I woke up at about quarter to three in the morning and uh, headed out. And I knew I was planning on coming back, but I said, I'm going to take a nap and I'm going to see how long I sleep. And uh, I'm going to head out then. So uh, I actually set a new record. It generally, I mean, no matter what I do, it normally takes me almost exactly eight hours. I think the best time I had was seven hours and 50 minutes. Well, I have a new record. <laughs> seven hours and 46 minutes. So, um, but uh, yeah, it's a long haul from down to, from West Virginia up to here. But it happens. What are you going to do? So, anyway, so I am back in New York. And I am, you know, obviously going to spend some time with my daughter. Uh, so the forecast moving forward after today is like four straight days of rain. So I got here, and it's chilly today. Uh, I, I'll show you. I have a uh, I have a sweatshirt on, so it's chilly. I'm like I gotta go for a ride. <laughs> so I went for a ride uh, and did that. So that was kind of fun. That was a good time. So I wanna, I'm actually gonna show you. So a lot of people. Okay, so this is a greenhouse. Okay. Uh, geodesic dome greenhouse so basically we have just a bunch of stuff in here uh, Becky went out and was getting a bunch of kindling ready for the winter so she hits the woods every year she gets kindling so it's good fire starter and then uh, I will be cutting up some fire starter for them uh, this week as well but, uh, yeah, so unfortunately we didn't do anything as far as gardening in the greenhouse this year because I thought I was selling the property. So no, nothing, no seeds were planted, anything like that. So we had just gone out and bought everything. But uh, we absolutely plan on getting next year uh, for here in New York uh, gardens going in this greenhouse. So just letting you know, oh, there's Mr. Buddy. So the door was shut, right? How's he getting in and out? Right through the window. <laughs> it's very nice in here, though. It's uh, chilly outside today, but in here it's very comfortable. What is the temperature? Let's actually, we'll take a look and see. So the temperature in here is 88 degrees. There we are. So, greenhouse is always warmer. If you got a little bit of sunshine, it is definitely warmer in here. You coming out? Mr. Man. All right. So I wanted to talk. Oh, hold on a second. I got to finish my job. I've been off the job, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm getting slack. There you go. And there's Miss Socks. You coming, Miss Socks? Huh? She says, No, I am not. So anyway, um, I wanted to talk to you guys in this video. There's a lot of chatter going on. I'm sure you've all heard it uh, by now. Of the 25th. The 25th of September, there's going to be some big event. Uh, some German uh, member of parliament over there, whatever they whatever they have over there, it made a statement that the, you know, the 25th of, December, of September will be a day that everybody remembers and blah, blah, blah. So there's a lot of talk that there's going to be some kind of an event tomorrow. Now, I just, you know, could that be a possibility? Of course it could be. Do I put a lot of credence in that? Not really. <laughs> uh, I was planning on coming back to New York at this time anyway. So just so you guys know, that is not any kind of factor uh, that I put into why I came back to New York now. Uh, it's my normal time to come back up here. I try to come up once a month. Uh, I will be here for a week, and then I'll be heading back down to West Virginia. Uh, Steve is in West Virginia, this time for real. <laughs> this time he really is in West Virginia. Um, you know, he's working and stuff like that, so he's he had to stay there for his job. And so, uh, you know, he's keeping an eye on things uh, at the homestead down there. And... Uh, but, uh, I, you know, as far as could something happen tomorrow, I'll tell you what, folks, something could happen every single day. Something could happen today. I mean, there's you just never 
know when something could happen. I mean, that's just part of life, unfortunately. Male lady going by. Somebody's probably got a package. Oh, I'm hearing a helicopter. Hold on. Let's see what we got. We will go out over here and see if we can locate it. I don't know if, if you guys can hear that or not. <sighs> Let's take a listen. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's going to come out over here. There it is. And there it goes. Uh, that could be a Mercy flight headed to Rochester. I'm not sure. But uh, don't get a, tr a ton of helicopters out this way. Uh, it's very cool here today, and I will show you over here. We have the wood stove going in the house, so we got a fire going in there. It's actually quite comfortable, so that's a good thing. But, uh, yeah, so uh, garden, a lot of the garden is already done, as you can see. Uh, I think there was that, I think they had a frost up here already. I'm not 100% sure, but... Uh, I, I'm not sure, because like, the way that these look, a lot of things are dying. There's a nice zucchini over here. Right there, so there's still some stuff growing. But, uh, yeah, I think for the most part, it looks like things are, are dying up. Uh, Becky cut back the asparagus, and, uh, you know, it is spreading. If you see here uh, with the asparagus, all the new shoots that came up this year, just left a couple of these up through there. And every year, that what that'll just do is that will spread more and more and more. So next year would be the year that uh, we actually harvest some of the asparagus because that'll be the third year uh, with asparagus. And that's something that's a perennial that'll come up year after year after year, which is awesome. And so that's a good thing. But uh, yeah, so, I mean, and we got, you can see, there's more stuff growing as we speak right there. Uh, the rest of the garden, let's see, peppers look, and look at, there's even new shoots on the on the pre, uh, peppers. Now, peppers, guys, if you dig them up and you get, make sure the root ball's good and stuff like that, we could put those in the greenhouse, and they'll just continue to produce. Uh, peppers are amazing. Uh, the butternut squash. Becky's harvested a bunch of that, as you can see, because there's a lot less that went, than it was there before. But, uh, so, that's, uh, that's pretty much it right there. Uh, it's a good sunny day. Let's go take a look at the solar. So, my New York array, obviously, I have that up on a rack. It's a fixed rack, just like the fixed rack in West Virginia. Obviously, different angle. But this has to be this way, and I'm going to walk over to the solar panels, and I'm going to show you why. Okay? In the morning... Uh, these trees here, they actually block out the sun until it gets over into this area here because the sun is coming up over here in the east. And as it travels, like right now, uh, it is maybe 2.30 in the afternoon. So the sun is over here. So we're getting good sun right now, but you have to have that sun higher in the sky. So we're going to take a look. Uh, I looked in here earlier just to see where everything was at. So we're going to take another gander in here. Oh yeah, the batteries are at 27.18. So they're doing really, really well. Uh, bringing in plenty of power, which is good. That's real good. So, but uh, yeah, so that's, uh, batteries look like they're in great shape. Uh, it's nice and toasty in the battery room. I was going to tell you because, okay, well, I wanted to explain something to you guys about um, the batteries, okay? Your charge controller inverters, here, they're, they're kicking out all the time. They're always kicking out. Um, actually, I should probably clean both of those off. Yeah, all right. They build up in there, but they, they kick out heat. So the, this room, since it's a contained room, as you can see, okay, uh, this again 
was three quarter inch plywood here. There is rock wool insulation underneath that. Um, even in the loft, there, now access to the loft, if I wanted to have access to the loft, I would have to come out here on this one and I would have to cut a hole there to go in. I've never used it, I've just left that one be solid. Uh, that is why when we built the loft in West Virginia, I left it open so that I could utilize, utilize that space up there for storage. They're pretty much the same size rooms. Uh, the setup's a little bit different. The battery and the charge controller and everything is over here on the property in West Virginia. And in here in New York, it's on this wall. So just the way we set it up for both places. But uh, when I had gone in there the other, no other morning, we had a really cold day the other morning in West Virginia. I opened up the battery room. It was nice and toasty warm in there. So that's a good thing. So you want to make sure you protect your batteries. That's why uh, when I built the battery rooms, I built them solid. I made sure I used rock wool insulation, uh, which is to me is the best insulation out there and uh so that's what we did there but uh so anyway i do want to hear your guys feedback on the situation with tomorrow do you think something is going to happen tomorrow and I, maybe that's what i'll use as a title do you think something is going to happen tomorrow i think that's a good title uh so i want to hear your thoughts like i said i don't put a lot of credence in those type of things i just you know i try to live day to day just pay attention, take care of and control what I can control. If something happens, we will react to it as we've talked about in the past. We have a game plan, we know what we're going to do. And so those are things that people need to think about. All right. So anyway, uh, that's what I got for right now, folks. I'm going to jump off. There will be another video going up at 7. And poor hell is back locked into the gated area with uh, Caesar and Pandora. The chickens are doing good, and uh, I will talk to you all later. I hope you all have... Oh, remember, guys, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we will be in much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Have a great day, and I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.